So I will get to the Rohirrim issue first. That will be relatively brief. And don't worry, we will get to the alleged big rumor with uh, Amazon Rings of Power. It comes from an untrustworthy source, so take it with a grain of salt. But it definitely raises some interesting questions. Okay, let's get to the Rohirrim issue first. And it is Eowyn and Philippa, one of the writers from the original movie trilogy, Lord of the Rings, has revealed, yes, Eowyn is going to be playing Eowyn. Wow, what a shocker. But she provides a few more details. So Miranda will be reprising the role of Eowyn, and she will be the narrator we will hear throughout the animated film. But now we have some more interesting details beyond that, which is that apparently she will be narrating this to someone. So who is that someone? What is going on here? We're not letting you in on that secret just now. But apparently she is narrating not to some empty space. She is narrating to a specific person. And that presumably will be a big twist, part of the plot of the Rohirrim film. And again, for those who don't know, basically it's just expanding on Helm's Deep and digging into a backstory. And it looks like it has talented, good people behind it. Brian Cox is starring, and so on and so forth. So a lot of good stuff. It looks like it's very promising, but we'll have to wait and see if it's a really good project at the end of the day. So now, without further ado, let us get to the rumor. And what is it? Well, this comes from Nerdrotic, or Gary B, who is now very notorious for doing these very I think it is frankly fair to call him alt-right kind of commentaries on pop culture. And to be fair to Gary, he has read at least a little bit of J.R.R. Tolkien. How much he understands, that's a different issue. But he has read a few things, and now we're going to get to the rumor that apparently he has originated. I actually first heard about this through European lore and was going to do the video on him and the Rohirrim issues because he apparently was doing soy boy tears that the one ring net is giving us this information and he doesn't like them very much. But then he dropped this thing about the rumor, which I will now give away, which is like, what? Huh? And apparently Gary is the source for it. So take this with a grain of salt. What is it? Well, don't want any spoilers. It's time to bail out. Caliborn will apparently be killed off in Rings of Power. And I'm sure most people are going to be like, who? Well, okay, putting it very bluntly, it's Galadriel's husband. So I'm sure most people know Galadriel. That's Kate Blanchett, right? Know her. And that's going to be played by Clark in Rings of Power. She's wearing the armor, which apparently is destroying the internet. So that's Galadriel, and Celeborn is her husband. And if you know a little bit about Lord of the Rings and the wider mythology, isn't he alive? I thought he was alive. How's he dead? He is going to be killed off temporarily? I don't know. So let's hear Gary in the way he puts it. Spoiler for the Rings of Power Season 1. Celeborn, Galadriel's husband is dead. Considering Celeborn is Arwen's grandpappy, they have to bring him back, don't they? I may regret saying this, but I don't even think these hack showrunners would go that far. But if and when they do bring him back, it'll be in the most predictable way possible. And speaking of predictable... is going to die or be killed off. Or again, we got to be careful. The possibilities could be it's a fake-out death or he disappears. But apparently he will be in Season 1, but then go away. And Gary hypothesizes this is part of the feminist, communist, MCCU conspiracy woke agenda to make Galadriel super feminist queen. Whatever. That's that's his thing. Thinking about this more concretely, and I swear to God, I'm going to put out this video hopefully soon, but uh, I can't make promises. Where I was going to go into Jon Snow, and that's an issue I was going to raise there, which is the resurrection problem. So spoilers for Game of Thrones for the few people who don't know, and even I knew this, though I was not into the show at the time. Jon Snow is alive, but once upon a time, he was dead. And that brings up some dilemmas with the ideas for the Jon Snow show, namely, well, if you can pull him back from the dead, who in principle is beyond saving? It doesn't seem like death means anything. You can just kill off a character and bring them back. 
It doesn't matter if they're in the prequel series or sequel series. Within the world of Game of Thrones, you can bring people back. Watch out for that video when I get to it. And the problem confronts us here because in terms of the canon, um, well, technically there's nothing wrong because the most infamous case of resurrection, of course, is Gandalf. He apparently died, but he was brought back. And this is in the books. And yes, this is even in the movies. In terms of the canon, and it seems legally Amazon Rings of Power has to abide by the canon, Celeborn can't die, but more precisely, he can die, but he has to come back alive during a very critical time period. So if you do know the mythology, like some people may be shocked if they don't read the books, which unfortunately I have to say seems to be a massive amount of the Tolkien fandom, which thinks seeing the movies is like reading the books. So it is what it is. So they'll probably be stunned and shocked when it does or if it happens. But the rest of us kind of know, yeah. He's going to come back. They can't really keep him dead. Legally, they can't keep him dead. And in terms of the story, he can't stay dead. I mean, that's literally a defining feature of him. He's a husband of Galadriel. So unless he's going to be like a zombie husband for a lot of the seasons, they're going to have to bring him back. Is this true? Will it happen? What does it mean? Gary's going down the feminist, communist, satanic, Hollywood, weirdo, conspiracy road. But being more calm about it, I guess this is an attempt to milk trauma. Broadly speaking... We basically know the story, right? They really can't do too many things that would be, quote, shocking or a twist. But this is one of them. Uh, all I can say is, if they are going to do this, I don't think it's a good idea. But I, I hope they don't do it too soon. I hope at least we get a season full of Colorborn and they'll probably, like, do this in the season finale. And, and then, of course, wait a whole season and bring him back. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Well, he can't stay dead. So there's that. But I I'm really unsure when you kill characters even though we know it's temporary we know it can't really be permanent I, I always think you don't want to play with that too much but again this is nerd Roddick and his rumors often are wrong so take that for what it is but if this is going to happen uh, i don't think it's an issue of the canon but it is kind of an issue of taste and storytelling of trying to introduce all these game of thrones elements to lord of the rings and whether that will make sense but the good news is if you're a Celeborn fan don't don't worry you can't stay dead uh, is a good idea to even kill him off in the first place. Um, yeah, it's definitely weird, but uh, we shall see if Gary is correct with season one of Amazon Rings of Power and whether Rohirrim as an animated project will work. Thanks for listening.